Hello. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the Clean Hamster Podcast. This is episode 151. 151 rum. Pineapple juice and Malibu. Caribou make them all dumb. Make baby girl come out of her shell and raise hell. We gon' party till the cops come. That's a song by Tech Nine. <laughs> I always bring in the new year with some. Uh, is it ring in the new year or bring in the new year? I don't know, dude. I'm already blowing it. Oh, my God. Oh, that reminds me. I was at a Christmas party not too long ago, and I said reef instead of wreath. And everyone was like, did you say reef? And I was like, yeah, you got a reef on the door. (laughs) I didn't fucking. And they're like, it's wreath. And I was like, I did say the same thing. And they're like, no, but you said it like R-E-E-F. And I was like, sure, sure. But I did not know it was W-R-E-A-T-H. Wreath. I was like, reef. It's, okay. Got it at a, yeah, like a coral reef. Anyway, r- bring in the new year or ring in the new year. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I've heard both. I wouldn't bother correcting anyone. You know when you don't bother? Happy new year, everyone, by the way. It's nice to be back. I hope everyone's had a pleasant four days of 2023 so far. But you know when you hear something wrong and you don't correct the person because you're like, it's not really worth it. I know what they meant. That's, you know what? That's what growing up is. Let me tell you right now. That's exactly what, that's coming out of your fucking, that's coming out of your struggling late teens, early 20s days. That's, it's, it's reaching that point where you're like, yeah, it really doesn't matter. What's that do? What's that going to do for like the greater good of whatever the fuck? It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I got my own problems. I'm not going to be like, hey, earlier you said <laughs> reef and i wanted to let you know in front of everyone it's reef listen i'm already done school i'm already done uh a lot of things it doesn't matter no more you understand listen i'm 27 years old i'm not going to that distinction is not going to uh, keep me from getting a job. Shut up. And that's what life is now. It's not. It's if you hear something a little wrong, if someone has like their facts mixed up or whatever the fuck, or someone just <laughs> mispronounces some shit, shut up. You know, it's okay. It's all going to be fine. We were all, it's not, it's not the night, it's not a day or night ruiner. It really isn't. Everyone's got bigger fish to fry. You know what I'm saying? Anywho, it's good to be back. I think I wrote down a couple of things um, over the course of the past six days that I wanted to talk about here on the podcast because I have to because it's my fucking podcast, the Clean Answer Podcast. Here, let me show you. Oh, uh, yeah, I got a cat. Uh, (laughs) I, okay. I don't know why, but every year I I've talked about this on the podcast before. I think it's back in episode two. But oh but I uh I have such a m- insane fascination with nine eleven. Now here's what I've discovered. Uh <laughs> no new there's no new discoveries that it was a it was a terrorist attack that happened in 2001 when some of you might have been born. So some of you, some of my listeners, some of my 38 listeners might not fully know the gravity of 9/11. Like I've actually had to stop myself from making this an, uh, a podcast all about 9/11 because it, man, does it just You know how you have your thing? Everyone's like yeah, I like this music. I like this. I like that. I like uh, these movies and stuff. I like blah, 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 right? But you have your, th- I don't know. You got like your th- your thing, though. What really turns your crank? I'm not saying like your fucking kinks. I'm saying like that thing that that you could go on about for hours and hours and hours and hours. Some people like conspiracy theories, you know, across the board. Some people like, like, oh, I could talk about fucking 
the abominable snowman forever. Oh my god, have you seen the facts? The Loch Ness Monster? Shit like that. You know what I mean? Stuff that's like... It's, like, it's got a lot of layers. Like things that really interest you. Maybe it could even be a specific serial killer case. Something like that. Just weird shit, right? The OJ case even. Like I know like of some people older in my family who are like, oh my god, I was around for all of that and I read all this stuff and there's still some stuff doesn't quite add up. Like that <laughs> it's just like everyone's got their little that thing that's like they could go off about. Mine is nine eleven. I I wanna write a joke not about nine eleven, but I wanna write a joke about how much I Mm, no. Actually, fuck it. I th if you if anyone were to be like how often do you search 911 on YouTube and on, and on Google? I'd be like um it's monthly. And they'd be like okay. And judging by how often <coughs> I think speak and search 911 on the internet, you could say that I like 9-11, but I don't. I don't cause I, cause, because people lost their lives and it was a tragedy and it was terrifying for the people that lived through it. And, you know, even, even though it happened a very long time ago, you know, that stuff doesn't wear off. I'm saying what I'm saying is like I am so interested in 9-11 that you could say I like it. That's like one of my interests, right? And I know under I I know some people could be like, well, I'm interested in this, but that, that but that doesn't mean I like it. No, no, no. Let's take let's peel but let, let's peel it back. If you think about something often, often enough, and and search it and watch videos on it and and essentially study it, like just on your own free time, on your fuck Dean, speak, dude, on your own free time, you like it. That's what I'm. That's what I think. Well, I'm always looking for ways to. Oh, you like that? I don't know. Murderers murder because they like murdering. They don't want to admit it. Though. I'm fucked up. They like it. I'm not comparing that to my little thing, but you do that thing because you like it. More, more or less, you like that thing that you can't stop thinking about, talking about, searching on the internet. Cat's out of the bag, I guess. I guess I like 9-11. I don't like what happened. But I, I feel like, <laughs> man, I'm digging a hole right now. I think <laughs> that out of all the things I could study and take interest in over the course of my life up until right now, I never really studied much in school. I never really paid attention in school. I never really whatever. But the day that two planes... were hijacked and crashed into two buildings. Basically, at the epicenter of the United States, like the most popular city in the world that has the most news coverage. The New York media is the craziest thing in the world. But like, the balls on those fucking terrorists, man. To be like, we're crashing two planes into the two tallest, most symbolic towers. In the, in in the in America's most popular city, at between eight and nine in the fucking morning on a Tuesday. I don't. I what I don't like is I I don't like thinking about the trauma that comes. You know what I mean? The people that saw it, that lived through it. Like fuck that. I'm just saying. Like once all that, and this is not a joke. Once all that dust settled, ugh, that was in bad taste. But. Man, I like if I can't take my eyes off footage of something, that means I like it. That's what I think. And that makes sense, right? It just sucks that when you're like, well, what is the thing you can't take your eyes off when I say 9 11? Then you're like, oh, Jesus Christ. But it's just, I, it's been, <laughs> it's, we're almost 10 minutes into the podcast right now, and I have no other topics. So it's okay. You can click on another episode or just exit Spotify or Apple Playlist at this point. But Apple Playlist, Apple Podcasts. But 
listen. A pl- man. I'm also th- think about this. Just to keep it a little light for a second. For about five or six years. So I was in the first grade when it happened, and we all got sent home from school. I'm not saying like uh, sympathy. No, I was in Canada. It's fine. And I I understood what happened. I understood that two planes hit buildings in New York City. I thought for real that two planes both accidentally, coincidentally happen to hit the same two buildings within yards of each other by accident. They were both flying. Whoa! 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 Oh, dude, look out! Whoa, fuck! Like, that's what I thought happened. For real. I was a child. Until, because, like, I didn't hear the word terrorist. I didn't hear the word, like, planned attack. The the words planned attack. I didn't hear that. I literally thought it was like, whoa, one. Fuck, that's crazy. I mean, those, like, in in my first grade six-year-old brain, I was like, fuck. I mean, those buildings must be pretty high. And they did. They looked high in pictures and in videos and stuff like that on the, on the television screen. I was like, oh, those look pretty high up that planes could go oh, oh, and hit them by accident, right? I didn't know, like, flight plan laws and stuff like that and, like, no flies. I didn't know any of that shit. Like, I was a, I was a kid. I, and then when I heard another one hit, like, also, that's when I saw... That's when I saw, like, people go, oh, my God, there was another one. So that means... That meant to me, oh, fuck, man. Those buildings must really be high up. If two planes could hit them by accident, that's literally what I thought. Oh, this seems like, I'm like, oh, this, they should lower the buildings. (laughs) That's what I thought. (laughs) Oh, they should lower those buildings. (laughs) How do you even, you can't. We should lower the buildings. You can't, you can't do that. <laughs> That's fucking for real what I thought. I thought two planes accidentally, coincidentally, hit the two same buildings that were as tall as each other. Taller than the other ones in, in the city that they were in. That's what I thought happened. And then years later, they are like, no, like another country stole those planes. Another country's guys stole those planes. And that's why... Uh, and they were mad at America. And I, and I was like, oh. And I remember being like, that's not as juicy of a story. I didn't say those. I didn't say that verbatim, but I was like, mm, oh, well, that's like lame. Because it is lame as fuck. That's sad and like shitty and like petty. And a tragedy. But I was like, ah, uh, wouldn't it? You know what would make 9-11 better? What would have made 9-11 better if no one was in the planes, obviously? And two, like, dumbass pilots were like, whoa, and hit. That's because in my brain, I was like, oh, shit. I did not know the magnitude of the situation. I don't think that now, obviously, everything's come into play and, you know, different perspectives are introduced. And I've grown up because I'm an adult now. But, like, man, 9-11 intrigues the shit out of me like crazy because you don't like we see planes fly a lot where we see them up in the air we've been on them right like we we understand and like once you get older you're like fuck these things go fast like when you're about to you know when you're on a plane and you're like it's like you're going like 300 400 miles kilometers per hour like and then once you're in the air you're going like fucking 500 600 kilometers per hour and someone Two dudes took them out of the clouds and were like, bang. I can't wrap my head around it still. Like, that's fucking wild. 9-11? Wild. Whoa. Bang. They fucking... Wow, we clear day too, like just like sun shining. The hell is that? Bang! I like and 
the videos on YouTube. See, like this is my thing. I could talk about this fucking forever, man. Like this po- this podcast might be three hours long. But like, the thing is, what's so scary about like stuff moving that things that are that size like airplanes are really big and so are two skyscrapers in in a downtown core right seeing something that colossal hit something that colossal at that speed like imagine seeing something like that in real time your brain would not know how to process it the only appropriate response is like screaming and crying like that's why like in movies when something like like when people are like ah like when something that shocking happens you don't like no one goes whoa like everyone's like oh my like they freak out like a plane an airplane going 500 miles an hour hitting a stationary skyscraper which is fucking like which which is you're I don't know when's the last time you walked by a side scraper a, a side a, a skyscraper you're like oh, it takes up a whole block they're fucking big You don't see those things move like, you know what I mean? You don't see them get. It's just it's crazy to think about, like, like, you know, those videos of of like. You've seen like a demolition video where like they they like they they um they blow up like a stadium that is no longer in use anymore. Like, they, you know, they tape it off and they put like bombs in it, not bombs, but like explosive, like explosives in it. And like they they got to fucking tear it down. It's a demolition. And, like, it starts to fall. It looks slow. It's not. It's just because, like, things that big don't fucking move that often. So that when they do, they're like, it's just, it's it's your eyes. It's your brain playing a trick on you. It's really trippy. And also in those videos that are on, which is crazy. It's crazy to think that I can go on YouTube and search 9-11 second plane impact. Like, and there's, like, compilations, like, many different angles from people who had home video cameras back in 2001 filming from their apartments and stuff like that in Manhattan. That's fucking crazy to think about. Um, and in those videos too, like the way sound plays tricks on you, the speed of sound as well, like in the videos, you see the airplane just hit the building and then it's, it's gone, it's explosion, right? And there's about like a three, four second delay between the set and like between when you see it happen and the actual sound of the plane hitting it. Because that's, like, the distance on where they are. Like, it's crazy. It's just so scary. I don't know. I'm not really much of a scientist type. But, like, it's just fucked. Like, then you hear it. And then you're like, oh, my God. Like, that's how long the sound took to travel to my ears or their ears on that recording and their mic on that little camera. Oh, my fucking God. That's so scary. What else did I? <laughs> Sorry. I kind of, I know. But, like, it's fucked, man. 9-11's fucked. I also had the, I also had a bit of a thing with, um, with, with, Jesus, with school shootings because I was just, now, I'm not going to say I like school shootings. But you said you like 9-11s because you search it on the internet all the time. Okay, fine. But I don't want to say it. I think it was like 2015 or 16. Like I just went through a time of like watching like a lot of like deep dive videos and like, you know, like independent documentaries made on like the Columbine shooting back that happened in 1999. And like, I just, I don't know. Like, you know, at work, we all have something. I'm trying to justify it. I know. But we all got something that we just fucking like, you're like, oh man, I want to know more about that. That's fucked. Because also it makes me feel better that I'm normal and I don't have um, psychological problems or, or, or just I don't have a, the urge to, you know, like I'm not, I don't have a thirst for blood. I've had dreams about it, but I would never, I would never act on them. Anywho, I, uh, I also think that it's, it was interesting to read up on things like the people that were inspired by horrible massacres like that. It because that goes that goes all the way back to like you know serial killers that but that were around in the thirties. Like everyone in some way or another, when it comes to like crime, is a copycat. 
Everyone's like, I don't fuck it. Whoa, he got he did that. That's bad. Like, there's fucked up people out there who see or hear about someone doing something fucked up, and then they're like, I want to fucking fuck this. I like the way he handled his business, and then they fucking do that. Like, no one's truly original. Um, and there was a scare at my high school. There was just like a sketchy guy, and his sister. <laughs> And uh, I know this isn't a funny episode. That's why I had to burp. Keep the last coming. So there was a guy. And I'm not going to say his name. But he went to my high school. And uh, he would just like. He, he would message girls really fucking weird things. And just. Just like oddly make passes at people in the hallway. That were either like sexual. Or they were almost threats. They were almost like. You won't fucking be here next week. Like, he would say fucked up shit. And then, like, our one friend found him on Facebook. And his name on Facebook, I'm not lying, was was Dylan Harris. And his cover photo was an actual autopsy picture that you could find on Google of Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold, the Columbine shooters, Uh, On the ground with bullet wounds in their heads with like little crime scene markers around them in the library uh, of Columbine High School because that's how that shooting ended. If you don't know, they both took their own lives in the library while police and SWAT were outside. He found that actual unblurred picture, made it his fucking cover photo on his Facebook profile and changed his name to Dylan Harris. A mixture of the two names, the two gunmen. And it was chilling. It was like... One of the scariest things, like, w- for, like, three days, we were, like, really worried. And then, like, we just never saw him again. I think someone may have told, like, the principal or some teacher, and they put referred it to the end. He was, like, transferred to another school or just kicked out of school, maybe. But that was, like, one of the most bone-chilling things. Seriously, I'm not telling you to go look that up on, on Google, but, like, that picture's there. It's just two of them with, surrounded by their own blood in the fucking, in the library of Columbine High School after they took their own lives with the with their own guns. It like, and he he made that his cover photo on Facebook. If anyone who went to Highland Secondary School with me is listening to this, do you fucking remember that? I think about that like once a week, seriously. Like he was a fan. Or he was like, my turn. Or uh, if if no one stops me first. Like, whoa! That's scary as shit. See, like, that's where it becomes like... That's where the joke is over of like, I technically like stuff that I search about. Like, if you start doing that, then you're fucked. It's not like I have like... It's not like the background on my phone is like, the second plane right before. Like, it's not like... I'm like, I don't know, man. It's fucking it's a cool picture. Like, that'd be fucked. If you, if you walked by my phone and it lit up and you're like, is he? <laughs> Dean, come here. Is your background the second plane seconds before impact? Like a JPEG of that? I'm like, yeah, no. What the hell? Oh, my God. Yeah, man, I don't know. It's, it's important. I don't know. It's history. Dude, no. I would never do that. Everyone knows my background, man. It's a picture of me, Jacob, and Curtis in 2015 outside of... You can tell by the quality, but that's been my background since I've had an iPhone, basically, since 2014. Curtis is cosplaying as uh, Harry Styles in that. Jacob doesn't have cancer, and I pretty much look the same, but that's the way it goes. Anyway, yeah, that was scary. Um, This isn't really a funny episode, but... I hope people like it. Uh, also, I found... I found, like, my 2020... 2023 mood, like, fire me up. Little, like, song thing. I haven't done this in a while, so I... Sorry, I haven't, like, played a, a piece of music that I've been listening to. And Jacob always makes fun of me. He's always like, are you going to play music and then you can't monetize your video? And I'm like, monetize my videos? They get fucking no views douchebag and if i play it i do i do what i and i do what i want it's all good these people like it it's awesome there's 
I know there's people out there who probably know the band My Morning Jacket, but man, this part of this song, this is I'm entering 2023 like this. You know what? I'm getting the speaker. I'll be right back. This one sounds sick. <laughs> That's my favorite. That's my favorite sound in the world. Where should I put it? I'll put it right here. I'll put it right here. Okay, here we go. Yes. The, okay, I'm entering. I'm entering 2023 like this. I'm gonna make a movie one day. I'm gonna put this fucking song in it. Sorry, one sec. It's got to come in organically. Okay. This is me reaching my goals. Yeah, I'm gonna this is gonna be a great year for all of us you guys <laughs> Okay Like Oh man, that could be, I don't know, that could be in like a sick fight scene of a movie or something like that. Where a guy kills everyone who kills, where a guy kills everyone who kills him. He comes back to life and he kills everyone who killed him. Great movie idea. So this guy, he comes back to life, right? And, and then he kills everyone who killed him. So it's a zombie movie. No, you weren't you fucking, li who are you? No, he dies. <laughs> he dies, right? And then he, he, but he's, but like, like there's a funeral, and you know, he gets like he left money for people, and but then actually, for real though, he comes back to life, kills everyone who killed him, finds them all, like picks them off. Sounds like a zombie movie. Fuck you. End of meeting. Movie never gets made. I'll make it though. All right. I think everyone's had had enough of me. And I think I've had enough of 9-11. So, I can't promise that. If you're listening to a 9-11 conspiracy podcast trying to go to bed, oh, keep you awake. But keep you awake in a way where you're like, come on, I'm trying to, oh, what the fuck? I'm trying to get some rest. You're like, oh, I gotta keep hearing this. This is insane. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick the habit. I'm quitting 9-11 cold turkey. 2023, welcome. Uh, thank you so much for supporting this podcast. Still merch available on Uh More tour information coming soon because uh, we got some surprises for you guys. And uh, I love you very much and thank you so much for listening. And I hope you have an amazing day. Goodbye.